Sin baby, ¿qué fue? ¿Qué fue? Es what I'm trying. Well, you want to help me narrate? Can you come here? Stop messing with my DM screen. Come here. Hello, fellas. <laughs> what the hell, man? Okay, Lucy, just try. Hello fellow Mistwalkers, this is LP from Easy20 and today we might have a very special guest named Lucy, my cat. She is on the table right now, you can't see her, but there is a chance that she... Oh, she's moving. She's moving and she's gonna sleep. Okay, fine. No special guest today, sorry. And in this session that is called In the Mouth of the Wolf, my players are going to have their very first battle and their very first mystery. Let's see how they do. On to it. So last session, my players got left off in what seemed to be the start of a battle. So Brad, the ranger, sensing himself in danger via his alert feet, which he chose to be his third nipple, yes, that's his lore, that's his backstory, warns Ray as they observe emerging from the woods five wolves surrounding them, being also led by a sixth, larger, more imposing wolf with intense red eyes. Ray, also feeling that they were completely outmatched, uses his ability to message Borden to get the group to come even the odds. Well, well, technically, there were five wolves and one larger wolf, and there were two PCs there, so that's eight units. Uh, if Ray called the other three, they would odd the evens? You tell me in the comments. The remaining three who were left in the road, Borden, Orson, and Regulus, rushed towards Brad and Ray, only to find that the battle had already ensued. Oh, and what glorious battle it was. Where they would hope to find a traditional clash between man and beast, trying to scare off the pack, showing themselves united and superior, true predators and top of the food chain heroes, they only found bloodshed. During this... And this is our special guest. Which is too shy to show him, show herself on camera. You can show your tail. Come on, show your tail. Lucy, say hi to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Come on, come on. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. Don't lie down. Come here. Come here. Eh. Lucy. All right. You can stay here. You'll probably hear her purr. The little tail. <laughs> By some unexplained reason, the wolf seemed to be heeding the instructions of the larger wolf, which strangely merely sat out in the distance, cautiously observing this battle. The professor, for all his preparation, came severely unprepared for this. 
So using his advanced knowledge of calculus and arithmetic, he threw a rock, which actually connected to the target, but only made Orson discover the creature unnaturally regenerating quickly after. Even Ray, a powerful sorcerer, tried to use some of his famed Tiju missiles that never missed his mark, but to no avail. Don't ask what the Tiju missile is. Don't ask. Furthering the strangeness of this large creature, the wolf also did not allow the rest of the pack to attack the downed combatants, simply leaving them in a critical state. When the battle was all but won, he howled into the grey skies, announcing his victory and his pack's retreat. Brad and Orson were the only ones standing, even if completely bloody. They took the time to stabilize their colleagues and create shelter out of what nature and the spoils of the battle would give them. Orson, the ever studious character, decides to register in his notebook the peculiarities of the weather, the fauna and the flora, and the behavior of these strange creatures. The soothing grey daylight that held them in these strange mists little by little became a distressing dark shroud that by sound of the roaring thunders in the distance promised to get ever humid. Regulus, even so, noticed the twinkling light further down the road. Not wanting to wade out the storm in a tent, the group decided to explore the light seeking shelter and safety from further monsters. Running through the monsoon, They approached the light, finding a pair of children outside a large house. The oldest cried out to them, There's a monster in our house. Can you help us? 